I'm Nicole Ginn, um, and I am uh, 34 years old, and I am 37 weeks pregnant today. Yeah, they're like baby keys. My name is Ann Freeman, and I'm the executive director here at Women's Care Center of Northeast Indiana. So Nicole is a really um, amazing mom that came to us. Um, she was really unsure at the outset of her pregnancy um, which direction she was going to go, um, whether she was going to continue her pregnancy or not. She, she had a lot of stuff going on in her life. Say hello. 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 Is it for Asen? Oh, yep. Somebody wants to talk to you, Asen. Hi. When I first found out that I was expecting um, I, I just, I felt really, um, really just panicked and um, kind of shocked. I was kind of in denial too. So um, I think that's when I actually called Women's Care Center and I asked um, to come in to take a test because I wanted to know for sure. So we offer um, medical grade pregnancy tests so that mom can determine whether or not she is pregnant. We offer first trimester ultrasounds um, that way we can determine viability of pregnancy and also get a measurement and know how far along that little one is. So Misty is um, another one of our amazing moms. She's incredible. She um, works full time, she has other children. Um, Misty's story is a little bit different because it had been a long time since her last baby. Um, so she was kind of hitting that reset button, which can be really overwhelming for a lot of moms. I drove by and seen the sign, but I wasn't really sure what Women's Care Center was. But then I was on Facebook and it just happened to pop up and I was probably a few months in already, but I thought, well, I'm gonna check it out and see what they do. Um, it probably the best thing, the best choice I made, <laughs> really, because they they helped me tremendously get through the, the anxiousness and the, you know any of the scaredness that I had. It's probably gonna sound bad, but when I first found out I was pregnant, I was actually like really sad and mad and like frustrated because my other youngest is 11 and a half. So we you know we're gonna lose our freedom and sleep and you know like all my kids can take care of themselves and we already have four so five is, is busy. We're here to serve anyone who walks through our door whether you're happy you're scared or you know you are nervous about that pregnancy we're here to walk alongside of you during that time. I feel like it gave me like a like a sound reason um, in my head. Like I was kind of tossing up abortion and you know, I, I had made an appointment to have an abortion because I, you know, didn't, I wasn't in a good spot. And so when I came back and continued to talk to her and tell her these things, like she never judged me for it, but she, you know, she definitely showed me some resources of like, you know, who I could talk to and, and how I could basically get through this. And um, I ended up not, you know, going through with the abortion and keeping the baby and um, things got better. I, I'm engaged now, um, like everything is just falling into place. Um, I just got out of the rut that I was in and I felt hope. So our center is really based on non-judgment and compassion. So lots of women come to us facing all different types of circumstances. Um, so regardless of where she is coming from, we want her to come here and feel welcomed, respected, heard, valued. Um, that's really, really important to us. For the most part, he's happy and <laughs> he just wants to go. He's a, he's a pretty good baby. <laughs> he keeps us entertained for sure. <laughs> One of the areas of growth that we'd really love to see is um, developing our base of monthly donors. So our monthly donors are known as our monthly miracle makers because that's really what your donation 
gives to our center is the ability to create miracles in the lives of moms and babies in our community. So that could be a donation as small as $5 a month, $20 a month, um, $1,000 a month, whatever you want it to be. Um, there's no amount that, too small that doesn't make a wonderful impact in the lives of moms and babies. So.